Ten toes, that's my MO. Yo, look at this thing right here. With the Alaska tag on it. Yeah, he's from Alaska. Very good guy, Alaska tag. He's traveling. Y'all, this is our chariot for today. I have to explain this one to y'all later, man. But this, <laughs> I got Bray with me here in the, in the other truck. He'll be hopping in with me shortly. But this is our chariot for this morning. Cummins, y'all. We are about to take this thing about eh, 600 miles or so. Shep's taking this and clothes hooked to his truck. And I'm going to be running that gentleman's truck up to him in Pennsylvania. So we're getting ready for this trip. Bray, you ready? Huh? Let's start moving our stuff over. Got King Bray in the building. Shep Dog in the building. Come back a little bit. Right there. Let's put this stuff in the truck. Man, we'll help him. But y'all see the kid, King Bray with me. Got that 12 valve coming. All right, we'll check back in with y'all in a little bit. Hey, boy, we got some miles to go with this mug, boy. We got some miles to go with this. I'm wondering, do this thing got cruise control? I don't think it does since it's so old. But man, that would have been nice if it did have it. Two things. No e-brake, so you gotta put it in gear and shut it off. Okay. But the e-brake don't work? Yeah, the, the, the ratchet system is messed up on it. Oh, okay, and I see it's like brake the, on it. The, they got the wrong fuel sending unit in the tank, so if you see it drop the E, there's still gas in it. Like, it's like only, it'll be like half a tank. You know, so it drops the E. So we're gonna go fill up, you should be, I mean, I'm driving a damn 12 out Cummins. This mug got some power. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Boy, we might have to put one of these in your mama truck, boy. <laughs> we might have to get one of these. Wow. So, I gotta stay right here. He said the e-brake don't work. So I either got to cut it off or do something. Dang, get up and go. Dang, that mother got some, got a little bit of power. Damn. Let me see. All right, y'all. We in there, man. Me and King Bray, man, we going for a ride. Gonna holler at y'all at some point. Hopefully, we have some safe travels. Hey, lucky us, man. It do got cruise control. It's on the steering wheel. 
So we got cruise on. I don't know if it works. Probably have to wait. Yeah, the green light comes on. We got resume, accelerate, and set coast. And the light is working. Stand by. Holy cow. <laughs> they had to unplug the horns, yo. That's crazy. Damn, button is, uh, button pushed in and wouldn't come out. Oh, it's way, it's messed up too. Look how, look how recessed it is. See it? Yeah. That one's popped out and that one's recessed. I pinched my damn finger trying to pop the hood. Damn it. All right, y'all. Let's, uh, Let's hit the road. All right, y'all. Here's the chariot. It's our chariot for today. What you think, my boy? Your destination is on the right. This ain't the prettiest to look at, but that sucker will run like a scalded dog, boy. Hey, this mother fly for real. Hey, and the cruise control work. Man, this thing, I'm like... Oh, I got the heavy load. What the hell? <laughs> the, the cruise control. I, got, I finally got it to work. Oh, we finna be riding, boy. Yeah, I'll speak to you there. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, pulling the big boy. Like a 20 foot looks like. Eight and a half by 20, I think he said is what it is. Fill up, man. We're gonna hit the road. Matter of fact, we need to go ahead and get some drinks and stuff. Bro, we need to go in there and get a, get us something to drink. Is it taking the fuel? Yeah, that's that thing that I have to take, man. That thing took 20 bucks. <laughs> Damn, it is full, ain't it? I hate the damn mercy brake don't work. I gotta cut it off every time because yeah, we'll I, like to keep I, it running. I was trying to get a, uh, a pedal for it before we left because the ratchet and the pedal was messed up. Yeah. yeah get my damn thing. All right, y'all. Just wanted to show y'all the truck, man. We'll check back in with y'all later. Scenery right here. Man, it's beautiful. Gotta keep this camera from shaking on y'all. Disregard that uh, crack in the windshield, man. I can't do nothing about that. Look at these 
hills with no problem. I just know this this way all that much. It's an aluminum boat. But still, very impressed with it. So I'm in charge of the uh, finding the gas station so we can get the cheapest diesel possible. And Gas Buddy said this place has been $4.75. Look at that. Does that look like $4.75? That's way off. Don't make no damn sense. We can make it further. We ain't on E. But I've been trying to find, you know, good price. And, uh, shit. It ain't this. <laughs> Let me show y'all this motor because I didn't show it to y'all earlier. And I might not get a chance to. Woo wee! This motor is wearing out unevenly. For sure. Ooh. Man, I got newfound respect for these things, man. This thing is a monster. I don't think it's got anything done to it. Probably stop. But holy cow, it's a monster. Yeah. If I can find a way to get one of these 12 valves and that single cab dually, uh, made it to that MV4500 that's in there. Man, I'm telling you, this thing is fun to drive, man. It is absolutely fun to drive. If I recall, this should be an MV4500 too. I think Dodge had them and Chevy had them. I think. Don't, don't hold me to that. Look at my boy. Bray! Bray! You gotta use the bathroom while we're here? Oh, alright. <laughs> He's out cold. Yeah, I'm gonna check this over right quick. And then, uh, shoot, we'll get back on the road. Find some diesel somewhere else. Yeah. Looks good. Tires look good. Man. Y'all got it, yeah. Woo! Damn. I got to have one, man. Would that single cab already be a setup for diesel too? Jeez, man. We gotta do that. All right, let me go in here and use the bathroom, man. We're gonna be back on the road. Check back in with y'all later. Fueling up, another $123. Hey, what's the name of that truck show over there? Y'all, it's got a name for it? It's a, it's a big old truck show over there. What city, what city is this, y'all know? All right. <laughs> All right. Nobody seems to know where the hell we at. One twenty three this time. Yeah. Don't nobody know nothing. I'm asking everybody like, what's the name of the truck show? Damn, why are you damn dropping fuel everywhere? Damn thing than the snapper was supposed to. Oh. So it just it waited until it fucking was over. Damn, boy. How about $5 worth of diesel on the ground? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> they got a car, car show over there. Let's see what we can see over there. And then they got bikers all the way over in the corner right here. Bikers all the way right here and over there. Them, them fellas didn't know what the hell was going on. And big, huge truck show over there. Like, huge. I'm gonna see a break and get some footage with my phone when we drive back, drive back to the interstate. But these these folks over here having them a little, little car show. All right, we got like three and a half hours to go. And, uh, 
and we'll be delivering the contents of the trailer, both of these to the fella, and then we'll all be riding back with ship. And uh, I have to say goodbye to this stout son of a gun. Lord have mercy. It has made me a believer, y'all. Golly. I got to get one. I got to get one for that single cab, man. No joke. We got to do that. Let Bray tell you about it. This, this damn Cummins got some power on it. Yeah. Dude, Golly. Go. Man. You ain't never been in one before, have you? Yeah, this is my first time. That mug is ready, though. All right. Like I said, three and a half hours. Oh, we're gonna be getting some of that pizza again too from that last from the last time me and Chef came when we visited my mom, cause that's where we're going to the same exact spot, and uh, we're gonna grab some of that pizza, cause it was amazing. But anyway, that's probably when we check up with y'all, or we'll get the pizza and get to the delivery spot, cause they only like ten minutes away, and then uh, probably check back in with y'all. So, holler at y'all in a minute. What we got here, Bray? Pizza. Ooh, we done pulled up and got the pizza. You gonna open it up? Let me see it. Let the let, let the people see what we're working with. Ooh, oh my God, this is just the appetizer. We gonna munch on this. Then when we get done helping them unload the trailer, we are gonna come back and get one for the road. E and N Pizzeria. Yeah, hold it. That's pretty good there. Never thought I'd be back in this area, but here I am, a month later. Worked out for the good. Let's see if I can let Bray get him a bite. Get you a bite, Bray. Get you a bite, let the people see what kind of face you make. Get them, you like cheese, right? Get that cheesy one right there. I don't like that cheese like that. You like that, don't you? Mm. Is it hot or is it cooled off a little bit? Try that there. Yeah. Try that there, my boy. That's good. Is it good? Boy, get the cheese off your mouth, boy. You look crazy. <laughs> Is it good though? I know it, boy. Yeah, we gotta get one for the road. All right, let's munch on this, man. We'll pull up on Chef in a minute. Then we'll get back with y'all. Damn, ship so good, man. If this is any indication of what Quan single cab is gonna ship like. That's gonna be pretty amazing. Turn right onto Kanawago Road. Continue on Kanawago Road for three quarters of a mile. Man, this thing is fun to drive, man. Sound good. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was telling them on the video earlier, I think, I think these come with an MV4500, which is the same thing your mama got, a uh, single cab. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. I gotta pull this uh, mat back up, uh, but we'll uh, check in with y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, we done made it, man. We have made this 10 hour journey from Augusta, Georgia to York Haven, Pennsylvania. I forgot where we was at for a second there. Um, Shep and uh, my main man have started unloading. There goes Shep, speaking of the devil. What up, y'all? Where, where they want this thing at? That's a driveway right there? Yep. Okay, I thought so, but I didn't want to. I was gonna wait. 
backing in down here on this. Trucking, trucking everything stay down there. All right. Even the stuff in the bed's going in the shop. So. All right, I'll do that right here in a second. Then, then I'll come over and see what y'all looking like. But yeah, we done, uh we done got here. Um, pretty simple trip. I am pretty damn tired, y'all. I didn't sleep last night. Maybe I dozed off for like an hour, and then drove just under two hours to Shep House, and then ten hours up here. So. When we hop in his back seat, I'm knocking out for a while. And this boy been knocked out like the whole time. So uh we finna finish off this pizza. I'm finna get me another slice. We're gonna help him. Oh, um, so I was helping Shep, man. Shep, this guy that's in this house, I guess this yeah, this house right here on the other side of this window. He moved from Georgia to up here to Pennsylvania. So Shep is mo moving all his stuff in the enclosed trailer and they needed this uh to come as well. So um, I don't know what he worked out with them as far as what they're paying him, but I told him I couldn't see myself doing it for no less than $800. Now, that's less than a dollar a mile, but I'm helping out a buddy. Uh, I knew it was going to be a Ram with a Cummins. I did not know it was going to be a manual until like the day before, but I was expecting an automatic with a 12 valve Cummins and a Ram dually. So I was excited about that. And, um, Sometimes I give a price where it's my, my minimum to even want to do it. And uh, so I'm helping him out, letting him, you know, service this customer that he got. And uh, I brought this up for him. He brought the enclosed up. Then I ride back with him and I made $800. So it's not bad for a Saturday. Um, I'm finna start watching some college football here. Go dogs, And uh, see what's going to happen with this Alabama and uh, Tennessee game. But anyway... We have uh, completed our task, and uh, we're going to get back on the road soon. So, job well done. Let's get out of here, man. We're going to holler at y'all. Peace. One eternity later. Y'all, we just got home, man. It's like 7.30 the next morning. We left our house at 1.30 and getting home the next morning at 7.30. So you talking 30 hours? 30 hours? Or yeah. God. Anyway, we made it safe, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe. We out of here. Peace.